Welcome back to Blitzball r &M. Today, I'm reviewing Transformers Studio Series, Galvatron. So, Galvatron here, uh, I got fairly recently. He's my fifth Studio Series Transformer. I actually got him on my birthday last year. Uh, he does come with two accessories these two they don't really store anywhere this one can store here and i guess this one can store up here or here or back here but i think those look really ugly my two biggest problems with galvatron is this and his weapon storage but besides that i think this truck mode looks really nice as you guys can tell so i'm gonna go ahead and do some size comparisons here is dino so yeah, you can see a lot bigger, like a lot bigger. And then you have Shockwave and he's even bigger compared to him. And then here is Batman. And then where's Bob? Bob was just down here. Whatever, guess we're not doing Bob. Oh, here's Bob. There he is. So yeah. Okay, so beginning to transform this guy, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to pop these things out. Oh, no. <coughs> uh, yeah, I haven't been feeling the greatest lately. So you're going to pop that up. You're going to fold the wheels on. And th this guy's engineering is pretty good. I mean, probably my other part I don't really like him is he's about him is I just his transformation isn't very enjoyable. So then you just want to kind of do this and kind of untab this front section. It's attached in multiple places, but you just want to get that unattached. So then once you do that, you can do this. So then you just want to pull these things up from that. Okay. So then you're going to want to fold his toe around, and then you're just going to want to flip them into each other. So you're going to just want to repeat that again. I know this is a giant jumble of transformer, but it's the way it's got to be right now. So then you want to just kind of fold these back. You want to fold the wheels in, fold these back. So it's definitely starting to take shape. Then you want to twist this around, fold it. And then what I do is I try to get the, uh, the little clip there underneath the wheel. I don't know if everybody does that. It doesn't disguise the wheels well, but it does hold everything in place super well. So that's just what I do. So then we have uh, like girl walk mode activated. So we've now got, oh crap. Okay, so I fixed that. So then instead of doing girl walk mode, you're just going to make sure everything's folded back around and then you're just gonna pop it into place. So then you just wanna kind of get them standing here. You want to up here, detach this, fold these around and such, and then you want to, oh goodness, uh, you want to do this and this, and then you want to pop them into place. Oh, you can't even see that. I just uh, took the arms around and popped them into place. Then you want to do that. So yeah, this guy's so big, it is really hard to film him. Sorry if you guys end up seeing a little bit of stuff that you're not supposed to. Uh, so you want to do that. You want to fold that around. Fold that black flap down. And then you just want to tab this into this area right here. And if you're seeing him, he's pretty much done. You just want to fold his chest up, clip it in. And then you just want to take around his head, fold it backwards. And there you go. You have Galvatron in his robot mode. So, taking a look at Galvatron in his robot mode, you can see he is really big. He barely fits on screen. If I even just move him forward like half a foot, you can't even see him anymore. So yeah, he's really big and he isn't even my biggest transformer. Uh, that's coming four weeks from now. Look forward to that video. It'll be the last Studio Series video for several months, but after that I'll do like Lego set reviews. So, you know, check him out. He's pretty cool. I mean, he is definitely a bit blocky, but all of his kibble hides away surprisingly well. 
and I mean, he's actually got a lot of posability. His arms can do full through 60s. He's got butterfly joints. He's got a double elbow. He's got a bicep swivel. He hasn't got any uh, wrist articulation. He's got a full on one of these. He's got an ab crunch if you take that part off. I mean, his he can't do very much of the splits, but I mean, he can kick forward and back quite a lot. He's got a past 90 knee bend. He's got an ankle pivot. Um, and then he's also got a full three, 360 spinning head. And then his, depending on if you break kind of his backpack, you can get him to look down some too. Yeah. So he's actually got a, uh, a lot of posability. Yeah. He's pretty cool. He's probably my second lead. No, third least favorite studio series figure I have besides, uh, Dropkick and Soundwave, just because of those issues I mentioned earlier, are quite big to me. So, size comparison, here's Shockwave, uh, the video two weeks from now. And then here is Dino. Yeah. Okay, here is Batman, and here's Bob. So... Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sorry if it if my videos aren't as up to quality as my older or more mid middle of my channel videos. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.